This is the extreme north side of my garden. Sunlight rarely fall on these plants. Only the morning sun for two hours. All my neglected plants are here. Hope you can see wandering Jew and the tangle heart. On both the plants, I pay my least attention and effort. The plants are potted in some plastic bottles. I have utilized the bottles and you see they are growing so pretty. So you need not focus on the planter but grow the plant healthy. The leaves of this plant are fleshy, heart shaped forming long strings named tangle heart. This planter has large fleshy leaves compared to the other pot. Wait I will show you on close view. Though they are growing in the same garden side by side but look at the difference. This is because the healthy one is having a larger space. It's a 2 liter whistlery bottle and very recently I trimmed the stems. Today I want to show you many tangle heart pots which have different growth only because of placement of the pot though they are under same soil, same weather and same care. It's windy today. The weather is very pleasant. Let me zoom in the lens and show you other pots also. Tangle Heart and Wandering Jew and Turtle Vine are good as hanging plants. The falling strings look pretty when they grow plenty and make a dense green curtain. It's a very very easy growing plant growing throughout the year. No hassle for its growth. Very good survival rate. So I have grown lots of tangle heart on broken pots and plastic bottles and those pots wherever I found space. Let's know some few features of the plant. Tangle heart is a total shade loving plant. Look at this pot. The leaves are yellow. Stems have no glow and strings are lanky. Here this pot gets 4 or 5 hours sunlight. Now we'll show you another pot. So this is the pot. Just a while ago I showed you from a distant view. This pot gets zero sunlight but fresh air flow and bright light. Hope I could clearly explain about sunlight requirement and added showed you the glow and luster of the plant as well. Tangle heart grows best during monsoon. Water this plant every day with a mild shower. The plant needs humidity and moist soil. Wet soil may lead to root rot. Water the plant according to its need. Off the camera, a while ago I was placing the tangle heart stems. So then I thought of making a video for you all. Very easy and simple to propagate. Take 3 inch stem, place them anywhere, any kind of soil. You can see the broken pot. It's a shallow pot. Why to throw away the pot? Why not utilize? So this is it. My next update on tangle heart will be to cover the broken pot and show you the tangled beauty. If you have not subscribed yet, then please do subscribe and hit the bell button for quick notification. As soon as I give you the update on Tangle Heart, you will be notified. Ok, now about the soil type. Use your common garden soil, add river sand, leaf compost and vermicompost and neem extract. Very little amount cow dung compost, you can add coco peat. If you have kitchen waste compost, you can add very little amount. Mix well and place the cuttings. But very honestly wanna tell you, these pots have only the prepared soil in my garden, river sand and neem extract and charcoal chips. Plants which are easy to grow and has no root rot issue, the basic funda is grow the plant on any soil type, in any pot you wish, either plastic polybag, terracotta pot or plastic bottles. The pot ultimately gets covered under the green growth. I have found people to pay much attention on fertilizers. Really I don't know why. Make your soil fertile. You will not need added fertilizer later on. For tangle heart, fertilizer is a big no. Do you think there is space where I can add fertilizer to any of my tangle heart plant? This is another bottle which is showing lovely foliage that you can see. This is the oldest pot of all. On my first episode I showed you this pot. Now the strings are touching the ground. Sometimes insects and spider mites appear in the soil. You can either change the pot soil or spray neem oil mixture to the plant or you can spray any insecticide available in the market. Best method is to change the soil and place the new cuttings. Keep under filtered sunlight or semi-shade.
So this plant has grown old and we can see some roots formed on the nodes which was not found on other tangle heart plant. Friends, hope you can see the roots which are visible very clearly on the stems. About watering, wanna tell you that leaves may fall or turn yellow due to infrequent watering. So do not miss your watering regime. And yes, this is same for all plants except bromeliads. Lastly, a lovely tip that is pinch long leggy strings of tangle heart if you want a dense and thick growth. Side stems grow where you trim the stem. So that's all friends. Any query regarding plants, place it on the comment box. You can follow me on Insta and Facebook page Passion Garden. If you want, you can share plant picture stating the problem on either of the two. Links will be attached on the description box. So bye-bye, stay connected and watch other videos on my playlist. Lots of love from Garden Hill.